Welcome back to Trending. Israeli cuisine has been taking the world by storm from London to New York to L.A. Healthy, fresh and tasty dishes with accents on vegetables and specialties like hummus and tahina have won over food critics and the public alike. And joining me now to talk about another new Israeli cookbook coming out is Maya Karmit and the author, Dina Sussman, an old friend from New York. Dina, Hello. so good to have you here. <laughs> so Maya nice. Kramer. I'm just <laughs> Maya. Because there is a oh, Maya I'm sorry. Karmit. We always get, it's fine. It's Maya Kramer. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just want, I, I really want to give you the title for Adina. She is a cookbook author, food writer, recipe and product developer, developer and consultant. <laughs> that is a lot. I just make a lot of food. Basically. She just makes, makes a lot of food. Just yes. fancy titles on it. So, yeah. <laughs> and she's done really cool things, collaborated cookbooks with Chrissy Teigen, and then, as you said, she has this new cookbook yes. out called Tahini, yes. called Sababa. Sababa? Sababa. And Tahini. I'm writing an Israeli cookbook called Sababa that's coming out next year for, from Random House. It's going to be an English cookbook for English-speaking audiences, and it's going to talk about showing people how to use all the, like, sort of signature things in the Israeli kitchen at home in really creative and cool ways, talk about my life living in a Carmel market. And uh, just like was, get was people the in the kitchen. Was it kind of inspired from the time that you lived here? It was inspired by my first round here in, 19, in the 90s, and then by the fact that I got married in June and moved to the Carmel Market area a couple of years ago. And I live near there. I basically have like a bunk bed inside the shuk because I'm there all day, <laughs> every day. Everyone's like, you again? How um, do you manage in the shuk with the language barrier? Luckily, I speak Hebrew. Oh, you do. Um, okay. But even if I speak my best Hebrew, they talk back to me, you know, in Israel English. Do you want the, how many kilos? Yeah, so, of you know. course. <laughs> but we all speak the language of food in the shuk, so it doesn't really matter. I just hold it up and I go, mm -mm, and he goes, mm -mm, mm -mm, you know. And what, so. is, what is it? Because I know, Dean, I've known you for years, and yes. you've always been cooking delicious foods. I remember mm. from Shabbat meals. <laughs> um, but Lucky what is you. it? Yeah. But what is it um, about Israeli cuisine that kind of speaks to you, inspires you? Um, I think a lot of the ingredients are things that are elemental and have a lot of soul and go back hundreds, if not thousands of years, like Trina, for instance. I wrote a small Trina cookbook that came out last year and is selling really well, quite surprisingly. So um, something like Trina, you know, it's it's an ancient food that is also a superfood. So it's both modern and ancient. And I think there are a lot of Israeli foods like that. And people are looking for things that are healthy and delicious, but don't feel like health food. And I think that a lot of Israeli ingredients sort of fit that bill. And that's why people really like it. And Trina in general is just very trendy in the States and very. all over the world now. And, you know, you don't have to refrigerate it and um, it's delicious and really versatile so yeah, I think that's what inspired me about it and also just the seasonality of Israeli food and you know sort of a lot of things that in America like farm to table and market cuisine like things that became trendy in recent years are just the way that Israelis kind of live that's right so I that's think right. that it's kind of coming full circle and you know, people in this part of the world not just Israel but all over the Mediterranean are also getting getting their due for like living that way and I really do believe that the vegetables here the fruits they just taste so much, so much better than in the United States I know. No, they're they're, so it's, they're like candy, and you know they really are. I mean, I spend every day in the shuk, and I see them coming out of the crates from from the farm. Okay, we have to get to some of the food sure. here. Yeah. Um, what did you bring? Right? What are we taking? So I brought two things from the Trina cookbook. First, these are my Trina blondies. They have cardamom in them and Whoa. sesame seeds. Oh my and gosh. A lot of tahina, oh and they're very and healthy. Super healthy. I, I, I mean, they're probably still warm. Are they still warm? Yes, they literally just came out of warm. my kitchen. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Um, yes. They are. Please enjoy. And this, <laughs> and this is, is you hear the word blondie, and you are immediately feel guilty. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Thinking of sugars and sugars, so, peanut butter and chocolate, but this they is... do have some sweetener in them. But you know, the tahina gives them a lot of moisture, mm -hmm. and they're. Super yummy. And Trina is a great and, source of oh my gosh. protein, right? Yeah, Trina has a lot These of protein. These are like mm, butter. They're, they're so like, good. Why, they're, thank they're you. So mm. And this moist. granola. Um, How are they so moist? Trina. Trina. Not over baking and mm -hmm. not too much flour. Oh my um, gosh, delicious. There is a little butter in them, but mm -hmm. I replaced most of it with Trina, which is, mm -hmm. you know, it. Right. You have to sort of. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and, and there's the cardamom mm -hmm. and a, a good, a healthy amount of salt, which really the helps. It's cardamom. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. And it makes it very um, Middle Eastern. Yeah, it ties it to here. Yeah. That's yeah. why my recipes mm -hmm. all have, like, sort of a nod to the West and the Middle East. I have my I snack now between. Yeah. The I just ate it all. This is a Trina granola that I made that. Has, granola. Yeah, so, you know, granola usually is full of 
full of fat. It's very high in calories. And I can't say that this is low calorie food, but a lot of the calories from here come from tahino, which is a superfood. Yeah. So I'm going to pour so you a each little better. a I little like this bit. Recipe. And it has also oh just God. all kinds of delicious nuts. And also I use um, oh my seed. God, it's like <laughs> I get, it's like time for breakfast. We're having like a late breakfast yeah. here. And I use um, we're having brunch, brunch, brunch. Okay, hold on. I, I use try date it. syrup, Ceylon, in here as well. Mm. Um, and oh there are God. all kinds of delicious nuts. And as we say in Hebrew, chaval Yeah, this and is, this and this, this one I use it. It's, it's amazing. And I, I use coke. It's for you. You guys oh need a copy. <gasps> Um, what does it mean that there's clean and did you soak the... So you, ma you make a mixture of all the dry ingredients, like the oats mm -hmm. and the nuts and everything, and mm -hmm. then you make a mixture with the trina and the silan and vanilla and salt. And I used coconut oil, actually, because it gives mm -hmm. it like I a can nice... Yeah. And, but I I've, can taste the coconut oil. But I've also done it with all olive oil, which is also incredible. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, mm -hmm. one thing about living here is you sort of learn to replace with what you have and what's 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 more natural to the cuisine here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I've done it with a mixture of coconut and olive oil. Um, in the States, I used maple syrup. Wow. Here I use Ceylon. So, you know, I've just kind of learned how to So, Dino, adjust. where can we get your stuff? Your, what's, what's here in Israel or what's online that we so can buy? So the Tina book, if you find me on Instagram and live in Tel Aviv, you, I can sell it to you. Um, okay. It's also available on Amazon and through Short Stack Editions. And it's going to soon be for sale in several stores in Tel Aviv. Okay. Great. Um, and, and the next book, Sababa's coming out? Sababa's coming out next year. I believe that will be sold in Israel. It's coming out mm -hmm. in spring 2019. So it's a Random House Avery Books release. So it'll be available everywhere in the States. And then great. I'm pretty sure Steinmatsky will pick it up. Okay. So, Dina yeah. Sussman, so great to have you. Maya Kramer. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. All right. We're going to take